All right. Yeah, that's a, that's a Perfect. Action. Okay. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Wednesday, November 2nd, 2016. It is 4.30 in the afternoon, so we shall begin our council meeting. May I have a roll call, please? Pete Hamill. Randy Funker. Here. Brad Hint. Here. Greg Gills. Here. Zach Sawyer. Here. Okay. Thank you. And first on the agenda is public comments. Yeah, I thought somebody's <laughs> calling for the uh, public comments. There are none, so we'll move on to the consent agenda. Questions regarding the consent agenda? If not, do we have a motion to approve? I make the motion. Support. Thank you. Any last, any comments at all? And then, Frank, I'll give you the name of the uh, EMA applicant, the student, when we're done. You, okay. May I have a roll call, please? Gills. Aye. Sawyer? Aye. Funker? Aye. Kent? Aye. And into new business, considering the first reading of ordinance on the rezoning of the property. Um, this goes through a first, second, and third, or we can make a motion to move. Thank you. Suspend the second and go on to a third also. I have not heard anything regarding the rezoning of that sign in front of the high school property. How many years has the sign been there? Um, yeah. I would make the motion to uh, suspend. suspend the rules and go to the third, third reading. reading. I'll support that. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Any comments? I have a roll call, please. Sawyer? Aye. Hint? Aye. Skills? Aye. Bunker? Aye. Aye. I do, but are you going to take action on that? Then? Are you going to take action now on the third reading? Can we? Well, yeah, we can. Or we can go on to the next one. Or we can bring it to the next one. You would approve I mean, it by ordinance. I mean, but because we have not heard anything. And the sign's been there for five, six years, five, six maybe years. longer. Oh. <laughs> or longer. So it's up to you if you want bring it back or just approve now? I'll approve it I, now. If you ever heard anything, has anybody heard anything? Uh, okay. All I've heard is, why are we wasting the money on postage for this? Because <laughs> we have to. Yeah, I know, but... Yeah, I'll, Got it. I'll make... Do I need another motion to... Yep, to approve by ordinance. So. Mm -hmm. Since it's been there for years and nobody's... Perfect. ...complaints or issues, let's just move it to the third and final reading. Which I think we've did, so now you're okay. you're making a motion to approve. 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 Final approval. Sure. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. And a roll call, please. Keels. Aye. Funker? Aye. Sawyer? Aye. Kent? Aye. Thank you. So we don't need to bring it back. And then on the pay estimate, thank you very much because I don't have, mine doesn't work. That's fine. <laughs> the amount is 75518 and 55 cents. And this is covered under the insurance. That is correct. Thank you. And they are basically done. We hope to, within the next week or so, actually have the final walkthrough with the contractor and uh, get the project closed up. Wonderful. Okay, then do we have a motion to approve the pay estimate of $75,518.55? I'll make the motion. Support. Thank you. And a roll call, please. Thank you. Hints. Aye. Funker. Aye. Sawyer. Aye. Heels. Aye. Uh, number five on our agenda is considering the amendment of the airport's five-year capital improvement plan. Todd is going to share a little information on that with us before we make that uh, consideration. So essentially, we went to make our request to the FAA um, as part of their funding program, and this year's request is actually for snow removal equipment. Um, in the capital improvement plan for the airport, we had a truck, uh, sander, and then a building to put that equipment in was what was proposed. The FBO said that that's not the best equipment for the airport, and he would like to look at something else. So we went back and met with the airport commission, and the, this comes as a recommendation from the airport commission to take the building out of the proposal and take the truck out of the proposal and instead propose a payloader, a uh, blade, and a snowblower. And then they'll apply, their plan would be then to apply for building in future years. 
to store the stuff in and they'll keep it in the existing building that they currently have for now. Um, so it'd be an amendment to the plan. It does come with a slight price increase. <clears throat> uh, the last plan, which had the truck and the building in it, was the estimated cost was 387500 The current estimate for the payloader, snowblower, and blade is 425000 So Airport Commission, Matt, recommended to go ahead with the equipment that the FBO asked for. So now it's here before I would send it in to FAA. Okay. And that's a 90-10 split? That is a 90-10 split. So it slightly changes our local match from 38,750 to 42,5. Mm -hmm. um, we did have some issues when we first started looking at loaders on whether or not we could meet the Buy American rules that the FAA has. Uh, the equipment has to be 60% made. Uh, initially, we didn't know that we were going to find a payloader that would meet that, or if we did, it was a monster. I mean, something way bigger than what they needed. Uh, recently, John Deere came through and said they can meet it on a suitable side loader. Lyle's complaint, or complaint, the reasoning Lyle wants a truck, uh, or I mean a payloader instead of a truck, is he says when you go to clean the, wind, or clean the runway off, as you're making your windrows and you have to roll them over and roll them over and roll them over, you, you run out of power and weight with the truck. And then once you get to the edge of the road, or edge of the runway, you've got the runway lights. Sure. You can't bury them. And if you pile snow on top of them, you can break them off. He thinks this way he could efficiently get it to the side, then put the quick patch on the front with the blower and then blow it up and over the lights. He thinks it'll help their efficiency in the long run. So light it. You blade it into a wind row and then you blow it over top of everything. Similar to what we do, we do on the downtown. downtown. Yep. So currently okay. what they do if they have a wind row and they need a blown is they call me and say, hey, can you come clear the runway? And the answer is always yes, but I'll get there when I get there because sure. we have to get this stuff done first. And it's not typically a huge issue unless Sanford's got doctors or something coming in, then they get a little antsy. Make sense? Any questions or comments in? Thanks for filling us in. Yep. So you're asking for approval? Approval to consider yeah. the amendment of their airport five-year capital improvement plan. Because you always approve their plan, so I thought if they were going to make an amendment that mm -hmm. yeah, I would changed be, it. Yeah, yep. I'll make that a motion that we approve yep. that change. Thank you, Greg. Is there a second? Support. Thank you. Any last uh, request for comments? Just so I understand, the 90-10 split is what? FAA is 90 percent, 10 percent local 10. match. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. A roll call, please, then. Hands. Aye. Gills. Aye. Funkart. Aye. Sawyer. Aye. And then number six on the agenda, um, setting our date and time for the public hearing on our own capital five-year capital improvement plan. Um, we will set that for November 16 in two weeks, 2016, at 4:30 in the afternoon. Do we have a motion to set this uh, public hearing? Make a motion. Support. May I have a roll call, please? Gills. Aye. Bunker. Aye. Sawyer. Aye. Hint. Aye. Thank you. And then last on the agenda, comments. Anything? Anything? Thank you. Kevin, anything? Thanks for being here. We appreciate that. Council? Shh. Ange? I just wanted to let you guys know we completed our Alice training. Uh, Brad was there, and I think all but one of our employees was there. It was really beneficial, eye-opening, um, painful, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was really good. Um, I, I wish you guys all could have been there. It was very beneficial. Thanks to Officer Wood and uh, Devereaux. Devereaux for providing that as well. Yes. Good deal. And then, um, you know, we've talked about maybe setting up the walkthrough over at the uh, Crossroads Pavilion. Um, is that something you can do as a group? Because I was thinking maybe we should go individually, but what a pain in the neck if we're traipsing through there and getting in their way of work. Would it be possible to set that up within the next four weeks? 
I don't want to put it. Um, I know you're busy. No, that, that's perfectly fine. I know Brad has contacted me and said, hey, sometime when you're going out there, just give me a holler. Would that be easier? Well, that's fine, except for the last couple of times I've been going out there, it's been muddier than I'll get up, so I didn't Where call him. Okay. If you want to go as a group, I'm okay with that, but then set a time that works for everybody and let me know, and I'll make right. it work. I was just thinking, I don't mind going out there individually, but I also don't want to be in the way of the contractor, so... If you guys Let's, want me to uh, call you individually and get something set up, I should call can. individually. You want to do that once in a while, or you want to go as a group? Whichever, works. we'll work on that. So Never worked for the Throw out a couple of options for time and okay. email. We'll All right, we can go. We'll go. Back. Yeah. And if we can, we can. We can. And if we can. Okay, we'll get together yeah. on that then, Todd. We'll set okay. up a time and see what works for them too to have us come through. Okay, um, that is all I have. Do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Support. Thank you. A roll call, please. Sawyer. Aye. Kent. Aye. Heels. Aye. Funker. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you. No peek to say nay. I was wrong.